Oh, I'd buy any of them. I was paying too much because I wanted to build up an inventory. I would give them what I thought was fair. In fact, they could trade, or they could trade two used ones for one, but I thought that's still good. In an old brick building in Dallas, surrounded by the noise of the city, lies what Bill Wisner calls an inventory. Others might describe it as a mountain of music or stockpile of songs. Well, as impressive as it looks, this reserve of records is only a fraction of what Bill has accumulated over the decades. This was basically about 15% of it. Uh, and the rest of it went into storage because it took over 7,000 boxes. So there's even more than what I'm seeing here. Gosh, yes. At Bill's, it's easy to get lost in the endless maze of music memorabilia. They say, if you can't find it at Bill's, you can't find it anywhere. Well, while things have gotten shuffled around over the years, Bill knows these aisles better than anyone. And he's always ready for the adventure of finding that long sought after record. Well, and some people are amazed and then sometimes they say, I look at their collection and I say, do you realize you could have looked all over the world and not found this particular, because they'll know what they're, they're getting for. Plus they'll know that they're rare records too because there's treasures in here. Anybody that comes here that really likes records likes to look and discover stuff and, and know it's more like a treasure hunt, which is what I always liked in, anyway. Oh, if the walls of Bills could talk, they tell stories of the famous musicians and bands that have rolled through this hallowed music store. While customers don't flock in in the thousands like they used to, that doesn't seem to matter to Bill. It's the memories he's made along the way and the stories he's able to share that make a lifetime dedicated to music all worth it. I met people that I never thought I would even meet. I got to where I'd like the music before and, and then when somebody would become big, I mean, because I'd hear it, I'd get it before it, anybody even knew what it was and I'd like it, but then they'd get big and, and then they would walk in my store like when radio hit would come in my store. My heart would go like that. I was more excited than a customer would be. These days, Bill's store might be a bit quieter than it used to be back when acts like Radiohead and David Crosby were rolling through. Yet, Bill has discovered peacefulness in the now sometimes silent store. And now I always thought that music what is it what brings out your spirit. I mean, I always do that. I'm not singing to myself. I mean, I'm singing to God. I just started singing, didn't we almost make it this time? You know, it was like, I always sing and when I'm by myself because that's what, that's what music is. There's music in silence. Technology has changed over the decades, and many prefer to download or stream their music online. Yet this doesn't seem to worry Bill because he knows his store provides something unlike anywhere else. Bill shares with others the experience of taking a step back in time and enjoying that feeling of having the music you love in your hands. It's like a whole different world to hold your record there. It is. It's that relationship. With oh, that and even picture. though you know what it says and you've looked at the picture, you still look at your cover and look and read the lyrics. There are people, but it's so rare compared to what it used to be. Or they have that program on their phone like one man does that if I tell him a song I think he'll like, he can pull it up real quick or that program where you can just say it to... Susie or Cersei or whoever that woman is, you tell her what you want. <laughs> it's the preservation of an old art form, the thrill of finding that long lost album that makes a trip to Bill's so special. Like the rare vinyl all throughout his store, Bill Wisner is also a hidden gem 
music lovers have come to know and love over the years, and he couldn't feel any luckier. And I never knew I'd get to do it this long. I mean, you know, who gets to do something they want to do every day? I have a hard time paying my bills sometimes, but... Uh, You're doing what you love. Oh, I'm doing exactly what I love. Will you ever retire? No, no way possible. I'm living my life. I'm not, I don't want to retire from life. I mean, what would I do? Just sit around with all my records? This is my life. This is my home. 